Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So prepare yourselves and definitely make sure to sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Let's get it. This video is going to be sneakerhead story time with your boy, of course, and in this video we will be addressing awkward sneaker meetups. Some of you guys might not know this, but I've been in the game since eighth grade. Over the years I've been acquiring sneakers from here and there, from different websites and different people, but I noticed that local meetups were the best places to get sneakers and do trades. So once upon a time, I was just a little June bug and I thought that it would be great to join a Facebook sneaker group. We have a local group out here called Bay Area Sneakerheads and I'm actually one of the admins for it now. At the time, I haven't really proved myself so I wasn't an admin at all I was just a regular user and I decided to post up a pair of blue lobster Nike SB's I'm getting cash offers left and right but at the time I really wanted to trade long story short this dude Miguel hits me up and he's like bro I got a 2,000 pair of space jams almost DS like they could pass as DS and I want to trade them for your Nike SB blue lobsters the only catch to it was I had to add a little bit of cash I don't even remember the amount I think it was about fifty dollars to a hundred dollars but in my mind I was like yo you got it, bro. You got it. That's a dope ass deal. We just keep bouncing messages back and forth. I'm like, yo, where are you from? I'm gonna try to meet you up. He's like, hey, I'm from Santa Cruz, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be in the Santa Clara slash San Jose area tomorrow. So if you want to get it done, we got to get it done in this certain time frame. I was like, man. You gonna do me like that? At the time I didn't have a car so I was trying to do my best to make this thing work. And I remember it was a weekday so the next day I had school. So I went ahead, used a little brain power and I was like, bro, meet me up at lunchtime. And keep in mind I have never met this guy in my life. But I was like, yo, you can meet me at school because I want this deal to get done. I want those space jams. So he was cool with it. He's like, alright man, when do you have lunch off? Let's see if that works within that schedule that I set and we can make it happen. Hey man, the time worked, everything sounded good, so I was like, yeah boy, I'm gonna get Space Jams tomorrow. Now let's go to the following day. I'm in class, just like, yeah. Looking at my watch, texting him like, yo dude, are you on the way, are you on the way? So happy, so excited, and he finally said, bro, I'm outside right now. I told him to meet me at the bus stop because that was kind of on the side of the school. It was almost like the back of the school. I didn't want to meet him in the front because we have these so-called security guards. And basically what their job is is just to stop you because a lot of people like to ditch during lunchtime and we are a closed kind of, I want to say campus, but it's not really called a campus. Basically it's closed so you can't leave the area during lunchtime because you know how high schoolers are. Once they leave, boom, they're not coming back for class. I'm gonna pop out real quick, we can do the trade, I'm gonna give you the cash, and then we'll wrap it up like that. Super simple, boom, it's done. I walk outside and he's the only car out there, so I'm like, dope, all right. Here we go. So we're just talking, we're just looking at the shoes, everything is straight. He's happy with the deal, I'm happy with the deal, and I hear a little electric noise. And I turn around real quick and I'm like, shit. So that electric noise was the golf carts that the security guards ride. Please don't be Sharon, please don't be Sharon, please don't. Sharon. Now Sharon is a security guard that I have had problems with in the past. She took my phone away for about a week. She brought me to the office and honestly man, I did not like her. So basically after hearing that electric noise, I was thinking in my head like, yo, how can I get out of this? Because she's just gonna get me into more trouble. So I was thinking, 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 and I was like, hey bro, um, you mind, you mind being my dad for a little bit? He's like, like, what the fuck, what does that mean? Just, just go along with it, just go along with it. She came up and she's like, what are you guys doing over here? Why are you trying to ditch? I kindly responded to her and I was like, my dad was just dropping off my gym shoes. I don't want any problems. I mean, the Space Jams, they were in the box. So I was like, yeah, I have them right now. And uh, he's about to leave right now. So we don't want any problems. And he looked at me and he's like, oh, okay, I got you now. I know what you're trying to do. Funny thing about it is we have an Asian looking dude right here. And my so-called father is a 22 year old Hispanic dude. So eventually she was like, all right, move on. It's time to go. He has to get back to class. All right, Papa, I hear you. All right, bring it in, bring it in with the hug and shit. And then later on in the day, he was just making fun of me for it. And it was just funny, man. That was basically the only way I could have got out of that situation because if they do catch you on that side of the school, they always start shit with you. They'll call your parents and they just, they always take it the wrong way. I think I finessed that situation a little bit. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. To me though, that was probably one of the awkwardest meetups that I have ever done in my life. I still can't get over the fact that I asked a 22 year old Hispanic dude 
to pretend to be my father. But hey, in the end, I got my sneakers though. Speaking of awkward meetups, do you guys have any awkward meetups that you want to share? If so, drop a comment down below. I hope you guys like this one. I know that this one was kind of different, but I'll catch you guys next time, man. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace.